Hello everyone, welcome to this new video which is about the top 3 online sports science colleges in India. So, the first college is the Setanta College. So, it is an Irish American university and uh, their platform is based on online learning and uh, online teaching and distance learning courses. And uh, uh, they have four main degrees uh, courses which you can do pursue, uh, which is BS in Strength and Conditioning, Master of Science in Performance Coaching. But if you do in India, it's MS, it will be termed as MSc in Strength and Conditioning. Uh, Master of Science in Applied Sports and Exercise Psychology, Master of Science in Sports Rehabilitation and Performance. So these are few of the uh, or, uh, organizations and clubs and uh, bodies they are associated with. So basically they are uh, affiliated, accredited by Middle States Commission on Higher, Higher Education and they are they are uh, they have a, a good partnership with the TS Performance Institute, and they have been uh, recognized by NSCA, the National Strength and Conditioning Association USA, and uh, by World Rugby, by Indian Cricketers Cricketers Association, MLS Players Association. They have good partnership with Stat Sports and the, the Strength and Conditioning for baseball so first course it uh, which is about the bsc in strength and conditioning so it is a bachelor of science in strength and conditioning which is of qqi level 7 and uh, there are 18 modules in total this award combines the six modules of the certificate in strength and conditioning the additional six of the higher certificate in strength and conditioning and the final six modules of the degree so basically you will follow a course pattern basically uh, the Setanta college has certific certifications so basically they have a certificate in strength and conditioning and higher certification in strength and conditioning so if you complete this course you will complete those certification inside the course and you will also complete ex uh, final six modules uh, the course duration is of four and a half years fees is euro 14,000 94 uh, which is the total fee and students intake occurred three stages throughout the year in the first week in March, June, September and December and modules occurred uh, covered in this are like functional training, resistance training, advanced resistance training, speed development, endurance development, anatomy, physiology, biomechanics, youth athletic development, sports and exercise, nutrition, coaching skills, coaching technology and uh, fitness testing business of fitness and sport, injuries and rehab, strength and condition for special population and furthermore. So uh, next course is about the Master of Science in Performance Coaching and MSc in Strength and Conditioning India. So this uh, course is awarded by Irish American University under its accreditation by Middle States Commission on Higher Education, which is one of the world's leading accredit accrediting uh, bodies. And the modules covered in this are advanced conditioning and recovery methods, coaching and monitoring technology, data management and research methods, movement analysis and biomedical aspects, sports and exercise nutrition, applied coaching and applied project. Course duration will be of almost of 84 weeks. This includes six online modules. Each module is of 12 weeks in duration, two separate on-site residential weeks, practical application and lectures final project and uh, will be there which is of additional three months to complete uh, the residential where you will have to go for on-site uh, practical for practical learning which will be like in Dravid Center for Excellence in Bangalore uh, Padukon, uh, Dravid Padukon Center for Ex uh, Sports Excellence and uh, it will be for like one week each and uh, the fees is $15,000 and there are few scholarships available and uh, one of the good part of this course is that you can continue uh, you can continue your internships or continue keep, uh, doing your job in the sports science uh, area or coaching area or whatever field you are following uh, you are doing and then you can 
do this course side by side in order to enhance your knowledge. Exercise of Master of Science in Applied Sports and Exercise Psychology. Uh, the Master of Science in Applied Sports and Exercise Psychology, it is the same accredited by the Middle States Commission on, on Higher Education. The modules covered are research methods, reflective sports psychology in practice, cognition, perception, and uh, neuropsychology, uh, psychological skills training and interventions, social psychology, interpersonal and group processes, enhancing health and well-being applied project. Course duration is like same, 84 weeks, six online modules, two separate on-site residential weeks, which is practical applications, final project, which is of additional three months, and the fees is same as the previous one. Next is the Master of Science in uh, Sports Rehabilitation and Performance. So, MSc in Sports Rehab and Performance covers and moves beyond the fundamentals of sports rehab and performance science by focusing on significant areas in the applied context of sports and exercise. Modules covered are research methods, reflective practice and professional skills, coaching and monitoring technology, movement analysis and biomedical aspects, rehab approaches uh, like and they are divided into two parts. Course duration is same like 84 weeks, six online modules, on-site res residential workshops, and fi final project additional three months. Fees is dollar fifteen thousand. Same. So one of the good part of this course is that it is it has been established by world's leading uh, sports scientist and uh, speed coach. So, uh, the advisory board consists of Dr. Liam Hensi. Uh, so, he is the founder of Siddhanta College and uh, he, he is the qualified physical education teacher, exercise physiologist and strength and conditioning coach. Uh, he was an international athlete uh, who competed uh, in the pole vault for Ireland and uh, he has worked a lot of great work. He has done a lot of great work in the field of sports science. And he is a world-renowned sports scientist. Next is Professor Ian Jeffries. So he is the academic director at Siddhanta College. And he is internationally renowned coach, educator and author. And is regarded as one of the world's authority in the development of speed and agility and conditioning for steam sports. Uh, he is also known for his game speed system and ramp form of protoc protocols, which has been... Uh, adopted by wide uh, range of coaches and organizations. He is also one of the founding members of the UKSCA. Uh, next is Des Ryan. So Des is the Director of Coaching and Performance at Satanta College. He is one of the leading youth coaches and performance managers within the sporting industry. He was uh, uh, current, he's currently the Director of uh, Sports Medicine and Athletic Development in the Academy at Arsenal Football Club and he has helped in the long-term athletic development program in the Arsenal Football Club which has helped produce a lot of talented players from their club. Next, uh, famous students and graduates from the program. So basically Soham Desai, he is the current uh, head SNC coach uh, for the Indian cricket team and he works under the contract of BCCI. He is a certified uh, SNC coach uh, from NACSCSCS and uh, he has graduated in this course for 2021. And uh, there is AI Harsha, he is also working with the BCCI under the National Cricket Academy in Bangalore. And uh, he has also worked previously with the uh, Royal Challenges Bangalore. Next is Eoin Clarkin. He is the lead strength and conditioning coach at Arsenal uh, Women uh, Women's Football Club and uh, and also the Ireland Under 21 uh, football team. And uh, he uh, yeah, they are, these are a few of the people who have been uh, who have, who have done the course. And there are few others even in the Indian sporting industry in the field of strength and conditioning from. Sports Authority of India, BCCI, uh, Ranji teams, uh, even in the football clubs. Many of these uh, SNC coaches have done uh, Sitanta College as a 
masters, especially uh, MSc in uh, performance coaching and so next is uh, UCAM which is Universidad Católica de Murcia so it is basically located in Spain uh, during the COVID time they started this course which is Master in Sports Science and High Performance uh, online course for distance learning for Indian uh, uh, Indian they collaborated uh, with Sports Next uh, in association with Sports Next, uh, which is an educational institute uh, from India, and uh, they combined together to make this online program. And uh, they are also uh, 10th rank in the University of Europe for collaborative education, and they have been uh, with uh, have been. Uh, accredited by the University of the Europea and they have few uh, good networking in the India which is food from Football Delhi, uh, Professional Football Scouts Association, Nivea, IB Cricket, Fasten Up, uh, Nutra Supplements, Sports Seed Pro. Basically this course which uh, they have is Master in Sports Science and High Performance. It offers a unique one year master's program in Sports Science and High Performance. Duration is one year. Accreditation is 60 ECTS. And uh, some of the topics which will be covered in this uh, uh, in this course will be ex exercise physiology and human performance, performance nutrition, training research, training and research methodology, sports psychology, technology and biomechanics, and performance evaluation and injury prevention. Minimum percentage uh, required uh, to uh, uh, apply for this program is 50% in graduation and subjects required should be like human biology, physiology, physiotherapy, bachelor's degree uh, in sports science with work experience or certification etc. Course fees is like uh, 5 lakhs 50,000 with the scholarship facility available. And if these are few of the faculties involved in this course. So like Vitor Hugo Texira, so he's a sports nutritionist from FC Porto, which is a huge club in Europe. And uh, Jao Tralo, who is a sports scientist from University of Lisbon. And he is also a UFA Pro licensed coach. Victor Sanchez Dalamo, he's a UFA Pro licensed coach and MBA sports management so he has his MBA in MBA sports management. Uh, there is Dr. Kevin Callot. He is the high performance and health consul consultant, PhD in physiology and cellular biology of exercise in university, Blaise Pascal. George Salviero, uh, degree in psychology, Porto University, PhD of sports psychology in from Porto University. There is Donovan Pillai. He is the managing director at Zerg Smart, uh, who has done honors in sports biomechanics. And there is Harindra Singh, who was the Dronacharya Award winner, former Indian national hockey team coach. There is Dr. Amole Patil, who is the IBA ringside doctor physician of in basically Indian boxing team. And, uh, so let's move on to the next uh, university, which is University of Central Lancashire. So this has a course of MSc Football Science and Rehabilitation. So this is a good course for football fanatics and those who want to know about the science behind football and for injury uh, rehabilitation uh, in football. And uh, they have been rec uh, recognized uh, uh, by the FMPA and by FA Premier League. So this is a co very con contemporary and flexible driven course. Uh, designed for those who work or aspire to work in the field of sports medicine and science, developed in consultation with clinical partners, including the FAPL uh, and the Football Medical and Performance Health Association. The content of this uh, course is especially designed to enhance the skills of current aspiring GPs, physiotherapists, sports therapists, sports scientists, and others in similar roles. So, what are the compulsory modules? So there are three modules, research and ethical consideration for sports practitioners, injury management in football and dissertation. And uh, there are option, optional modules also. Uh, so you will have to cho choose four out of five. 
which are analytics in football, contemporary rehabilitation in football, football performance, strength and conditioning for football, professional practice. Intakes are in January and September. Duration is of one year full time or two year part time. And entry requirement is like 58% in bachelor degree. And uh, if you do uh, if you do fully or off, full time offline, uh, you may have a chance to get excellent scholarship from uh, from uh, as a Indian citizen. And uh, if you have a 80% or above in bachelor's degree, and uh, uh, euro th uh, like three thousand pound will be waived off. And fees is uh, fifteen thousand five hundred pounds uh, full time, and distance full time is like eight thousand four hundred, and uh, it is nine thirty three per twenty credits for distance part time. So basically, distance part time is of two years, and the total will be eight thousand nine uh, eight thousand three hundred ninety seven. So these are the few of the faculties involved. Mark Leather, who is the course leader in MSc Football Science and Rehabilitation and MSc Football Medical Leadership and Performance. And Dr. David Rhodes, he is the course leader and senior lecturer in Elite Performance. Dr. Jill Alexander, senior lecturer and a course lead in MProf in uh, Elite Performance. So that's it guys. Thank you. Bye bye.